Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I've got a single build to show you. So this is my little Victorian street build that I made. I really love like the Victorian kind of Edwardian time. So I wanted to try my hand at doing some sort of city core build. It's only like I said, like a little street build, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I just want to show you what I did. So um, as you can see, I've used these like little window display units because I feel like they literally look like windows. Um, I think they're just like museum display units, but I, yeah, I feel like they looked really neat like this. I loved how they looked. Also, I've used like the little panels to make fake doors. I mean, I think they look okay. They're not like the best, but I feel like they look all right. And as you can see, I've used a lot of these like uh, red style brick um, castle walls because um, I don't know, for me, that is very like Victorian to have like the red brick buildings and stuff. I love it. And also in East Little Shop, I made a little surprise. Excuse me, Lucky. If you peer in all the windows, I actually put stuff on the inside. Again, uh, something I hadn't seen anyone do yet, so I wanted to do something different. So what I did is I placed a little kind of scene in each of the shops to make it feel like more welcoming and warm. I don't know, give a little bit more personality instead of it just being like an empty building. I just thought it would be a nice little touch to add a little scene on the inside. So each one has a little real life moment going on and I'll show you as we go along um, what we've got on the buildings. So yeah, this was the first shop. It was like a little cobbler shop plus, you know, sewing and fixing clothes. Uh, that's why I put the Able Sisters here. And then we have the bakery, the cute little bakery, which this, again, the display boxes look so good as window boxes. And I loved how they turn out because you can also add like um, a picture behind as well. And I feel like it looks really cool. And then we've got like a little delivery here of the goods for the bakery. And then let's have a peer inside the window. I love that you can use this handheld mode now. It's so useful. If we peer into the window, you've got like plates on the shelf, some flour and then a little pie. And as you can see, I've actually added curtains onto this one. If I had enough room, then I added curtains because I feel like it just added that little touch, like homely touch, a little window scene with the curtains and a pie cooking. It's just like so homely. And I thought it looked really, really nice and cozy in there. And then we go along to the, uh, I guess kind of like a bookshop. Again, I tried to use all shops that would have been around in these kind of times. And yeah, next we have the bookshop with some books inside and the curtains again. And as you can see, we've got like the window display as well, with a little typewriter and some books and a cute little like cottage scene. And again, I just think it looks so cozy. And then a little delivery of books, of course, with the little cute string around it. I love this item. And then we have the little toy shop. I was gonna update with the seasons, but I, again, I'm just not good at doing like city builds too much. I don't know. I just feel like I wouldn't know what else to do. So I just did this little street as like a little kind of practice and I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I just wanted to like document it. But yes, I loved the shop window because it's got a little train going around and it's just a nice little touch again this little train and uh just like some fake shelves behind with toys on i don't love how it looks but i mean it's all about the train anyway the train just looks adorable just like through this little window i love it and then yeah in the window we have just got a ducky and a dollhouse again probably a little bit too modern but i worked with what i had and then we've got like someone's pushing the little uh, kid outside the shop looking at the toys uh, the last shop is actually like a florist flowers and uh this one's pretty simple i just put like the uh flower case in here i think that lights up at night actually again didn't have room for curtains but that's okay it's just like a basic little flower shop in there so again just like a little scene going on in there so if you peered through the window you could see what's inside and then if we keep going along this way i did also make a little market to have a market they had like lots of markets back then and so we have like a little bric-a-brac stand, uh, odds and ends, trinkets. And then we have an old fashioned tea shop because back in the day they did have wagons um, that went around and sold tea. So I tried to make like the smoker look like a little kind of boiler, a little wagon, a little tea wagon. And I thought it turned out really, really cute. So yeah, that's the little tea wagon. And then over here we have like the fishmongers. Um, they did obviously have butchers and stuff too, but I didn't think there was that many items in the game that I could use. So I just stuck with like a fishmongers for now. And I think, yeah, it, it worked out really well. Originally I was gonna have a docks area, but again, uh, I just kind of ran out of inspiration for this island. And then, yeah, we have a little farmer's market, little farmer kind of market store area, selling all the goods, all the little goods, like the pies and the jams, all the jellies, as you guys say, the flour and the milk and the wine. I love those bottles. I love that you can put like little labels on them. I think they look adorable. And then the last thing that I did was a train station. So I was trying to think of like London and like, you know, they've got loads of train stations. Something about Victorian times 
times and stuff that reminds me of like steam trains and stuff so we made this little light train station and we've got our little coal trucks here and then I've made like the town hall look like a train station I know I feel like it's like kind of like a trademark now because I always just freaking do it I can't help it I just feel like the town hall looks like a train station and then we've got a little newspaper stand and some like you know gifts ready to be delivered some parcels getting ready to picked up and then yeah that's pretty much it this also was just gonna go out to like where um houses were gonna be but again I just I don't know making a whole city build island is just not my vibe I just can't do it I'm more of a foresty forest core cool kind of girl but I'm really happy with how the street came along I feel like it it worked out really well and it was good practice um i think i do like making little kind of villagey areas or little town areas but i just don't know i i don't know you guys are amazing uh, the people that do the whole city build you are amazing i don't know how you do it like you're so inspirational right then thank you so much for watching i hope uh i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you maybe inspired you if you're like me and you're more of like a forest core kind of girl but yeah thank you so much for watching and look out for more videos take care bye